Jeez Louise, my man, Moyo Kishimoto has absolutely no chill. What's up everyone, this is Sonic Fan here, and we have some pretty interesting news to talk about today. That being the possibility of the removal of Sonic's boost ability in future games. That's right, the main defining mechanic that has been present in every mainline Sonic entry for 14 years might not appear in the next big Sonic game, which is most likely a sequel to Frontiers and its open zone gameplay. Obviously not a sequel in terms of labeling or possibly even narratively, but you know what I mean, whatever mainline game that succeeds Frontiers. I don't blame anyone for seeing this as small news or nothing to explode over, and in truth it's kinda not, but it also kind of is. The thing to keep in mind is that Kishimoto wasn't specific with his wording. In the original tweets, he goes, When I started working on this game, I was very worried about whether boost was possible or not and decided to adopt it. I am still thinking that for the next game, I would like to try a Sonic game without boost. And then the next one goes, Of course, we understand the benefits of boost. I will both coexist and experiment with boost and spin dash, so don't worry. However, I also have a desire to try a level design without boost, like the Adventure series. After all, the Adventure series is legendary. Let's go, that's my boy. With Takashi Azuka saying he wants an Adventure 3, all of the fan demand in this tweet, come on Sega, make it happen, it would literally print money. God, I love the Adventure love. Anyways, back on topic. So yeah, what I find interesting here is Moyo Kishimoto informing us that he was unsure whether a boost would even work in Frontiers, which is very evident given how extremely nerfed it is in the open zones, but thank god they kept in the cyber levels because those would be horrible without it. What these tweets imply is that without the linear boost structure seen in the 2010s era of the Sonic games, the entire boost mechanic is starting to not really serve a use in the series going forward, especially with the current direction's emphasis on exploration and freedom. I thought they did a great job incorporating it into Frontiers, but getting rid of it makes sense for two major reasons. One, the spin dash. Fans have been very vocal about wanting to see the spin dash make a comeback in a 2D Sonic game, and no, not that specific combat move locked behind a skill tree. The actual thing. Though that move is really sick though. Having a boost would completely trivialize the usage of a spin dash if it ever got incorporated, so I can see that being reason enough right there. Have another thing that is honestly just as major is momentum. Yep, I said the M word. I want it, you all want it, come on, it's obvious. What made Sonic so defined and iconic was its speedy gameplay, but it wasn't just about how fast you went. It was all about earning your speed, maintaining your speed, and getting simultaneously rewarded and challenged as a result. The adventure games did a great job translating this for the most part, but the fact that the spin dash was so broken makes it hard to acknowledge that on repeat playthroughs. If the next Sonic game were to give us a perfect translation of the 2D physics into 3D without any catches, that game would be so incredibly fun, and obviously the boost mechanic stands in the way of that. And look, I don't dislike the boost. It worked well in the games it was in, even if games like Forces overly relied on it. I'm a huge fan of most of the boost games such as Colors, Generations, and obviously Frontiers, but I'm excited at the possibility for us to get something new. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, so hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have then please like, subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.